this person knows that if this person had you in your mind at one time they know they don't they can't have you like that anymore if somebody trying to manipulate you play any type of game they know that you're not falling for that anymore they feel like they won't be okay divine feminine until they got you mm -hmm. someone fell in love somebody feels like yeah i feel like whoever this person is they know you doing what's best for them i mean they know you're doing what's best for them. So maybe at one time, Sunstein, you was doing what was best for this connection, but you decided, like, you know what? Now I'm going to do what's best for me. They know you're doing what's best for them. Okay, so this other person could be feeling like that. This person could be doing what's best for this connection because I don't feel like that's your energy, Divine Feminine. Okay, I feel like this was once someone who played a lot of games, played a lot of mind games, and I feel like you they no longer know they can't manipulate you or have you in your head. So, this person could be trying to do what's you know what's best for this connection now, trying to go on the right path with the Pluto and Neptune. This person could be dreaming about you. Um, with the Pluto, um, Scorpio Pisces energy, this person could know that something has changed. And I feel like the changes with the Pluto is that you doing what's best for you. But now with this Neptune, I feel like this person, like their intuition or they could be dreaming that you moved on. Or this person could be feeling like, yo, if I don't do what's best for this connection, then I know I'm going to lose this person. Yeah, because divine union and empire, you got a divine union here. Someone who you're going to be creating an empire you with, Uranus. Uranus speaks all about freedom, taking a leap of faith, Aquarius energy, okay? Something unexpected, unexpected is about to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Your heart, sun, wow. You have to get some type of happiness. Some happiness is coming in for you. The heart to the sun. The sun is the best card in tarot. Something, something some change that you're making... It's going to make you very hard. I mean, I heard it's going to make you very hard. It's going to make you very hard. <laughs> Spirit, it's going to make you very hard. I feel like it's going to make you very happy. Some change that you make it, I feel like you're operating from your heart space, which is beautiful. Okay, you, you know, it, it doesn't give me a bit of a malice or holding a grudge type of energy. You move everything that you're doing right now, whatever this change is, divine feminine, divine masculine, I feel like you're doing it from a heart space. It's giving me like a queen of cups energy, king of cups energy. Okay. Very loving, very caring, very nurturing. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, what's this energy I'm picking up for? Please and thank you for my collective sunseed. <clears throat> I just seen 444. You guys are very protected, period. <laughs> yeah, Ace of Swords, Leo energy. Yeah, you're very protected. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Something about your third eye. Divine Union, Neptune. Yeah, shadow, solitude. So you could be doing some shadow work. Somebody could also be going through like a dark night of soul or coming out of it. And it's like whatever whatever this work you're doing on yourself, divine favorite, divine masculine, is preparing you for a power couple. Yes, the Jupiter. Jupiter to 5D. So whoever this connection is that you have to walk into, divine favorite, divine masculine, I feel like you already met this person um spiritually energetically you can feel them um but it's all in the 5d and you know whatever's in the 5d it has to manifest to the 3d congratulations yes venus energy out here which speaks about love and beauty your guardian angels is definitely here like what's up <laughs> give me king of swords is 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 giving you giving you the truth the clarity poverty to the king of cups yes it's giving me um from poverty to someone who's fully working, walking in a purpose. Yeah, empire. Poverty to purpose. Yes, letting go what no longer serves you when it comes to, you know, love connection. But somebody else can feel it. They feeling it hard, I'm hearing. And like I said, they could be talking to the 
um, they bra, they sis. If somebody like, yo, it's more efficient to see, like, somebody like, no, no. If it's not that person, I'm not going to be okay. Like, somebody try to, but you know, play these mind games, give me, like, the line of swords to my third eye. And you coming up out of that stress or worry. Yeah, queen of swords, that's the truth. Give me more Holy Spirit. Somebody like, no way. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's the energy I'm picking up on for my collective sun seeds? Please and thank you. Yes, yeah, solitude. So you guys could have been in solitude. Um, maybe you guys are, you know, uh, you could be connected with nature. Um, you guys could be taking a pause. Like, things that you used to do, it could not interest you right now. Maybe you just take a time off for yourself. You could be definitely taking a break. You know, uh, I'm picking up on the energy of somebody that they really just don't want to be bothered. Like, you just want silence, okay? I feel like you're centering yourself, you're grounding yourself, ace of fire. There's some type of new passion or good news or creative spark. A new beginning is coming in for your life. Yeah, somebody's been working on a heart chakra. But somebody is watching you, okay? Whoever this person is that's watching you, that's in love with you, um, it is giving me an energy of this person. I just keep hearing that this person that's spying, they, they feel like they won't be okay. They feel like they won't be okay unless they have you. Yeah, soul tribe, queen of earth. But there's some secrets about this person. Yeah, secrets and opportunists. Okay. Leo and King of Swords. You could be an air sign or a Leo, but you know the truth about someone. You feel like someone is an opportunist. Someone, um, you know, they have hidden motives. Um, very secretive. The world card, it, it, it's like you closed out a cycle. So you could have closed out a cycle of someone that you felt like was just an opportunist. Someone who just wanted to jump on your bandwagon. Meaning to where they wanted to attach themselves to you because someone feels like whoever you are, you know, when you operate out of your heart chakra and you awakening, heart chakra, um, it, 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 always, it gives me like a Venus energy as well because when your heart chakra is awakening, you know, there's no blockages. Everything is attracted to you, you know, um, your abundance and abundance can be in all forms money peace of mind um good health success wealth um you know um you being emotionally balanced okay you being centered um some type of center uh, some type of um, of um like you being centered within yourself you know and it's bringing you some type of awareness because your heart chakra is awakening okay yeah and I feel like someone who was once cold towards you might have been, you know, possibly jealous of you or because of what you attract, what you have. Somebody wanted to be a part of that, but they was an opportunist. And I feel like you were, you see some type of, because we just see the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. There was something that was revealed to you about this person. Um, there's some type of secrets that was revealed to you about this person. And you decided to pull your energy back. And this person could feel like you being real detached, you know? And this person is watching you, okay? Um, could be trying to gather up information about you. But I feel like you've just been minding your business, staying to yourself, drinking your tea. Or, you know, to my coffee lover, drinking your coffee. Yeah, King of Swords. Like, King of Swords to the tarot reader. So somebody could have went to, like, a tarot reader... Um, could have consulted with a tarot reader, got try to get some information about you. Okay, somebody is addicted to you. What's the opportunist, Holy Spirit? Opportunist, opportunist. Thank you. Opportunist is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Yeah, whoever this person is, I told you. Like, I feel like you in this place of <sighs> you just you just working on yourself. And someone doesn't want to let your loving, caring, nurturing energy get away. They don't. 
but you see this person as an opportunity. So it seems you feel like some secrets revealed to you about this person. Queen of Cups, Queen of Fire. I love it for you guys. Okay, strong-minded, very sexy. Um, is giving me that that confident, that that phoenix energy. Someone who's very independent. Someone who take charge. But it also with the Queen of Cups, it is it, it, giving me like very nurturing, very loving. It's like. You just been working on yourself. You just been working on yourself. And someone's full of some type of way. We have the Libra and Akashi Records and Pisces and Divine Union. Wow. Your Akashi Records is fully open to you. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're about to receive. I just heard a bonus. So take it. I just feel like I heard you about to receive a bonus. Okay. I feel like as you work on yourself and you get grounded in your energy and remove any energy that no longer serves you, there's a divine union that's coming in. You're attracting that. But it could come in until you, 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 um, whoever this opportunity is, opportunist had to go. We got Libra Pisces energy and we got the tower card. <clears throat> I feel like whoever this person is, they trying to find a way to process this energy um, it bothers this person. Yeah, it bothers this person. Chosen. Aries. You could be an Aries. Um, someone who's um, spontaneous, bold, independent, brave, optimistic. Who am I picking up on? Maybe this person reside. You 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 resonate more with this energy when you was in your south node. But somebody is fully in the north node. Somebody is doing the shadow work, okay? And I feel like somebody um, is recognizing, um, you know, they uh, they south node energy. Thank you, spirit. They south node energy. And as they recognize it, they go within, which is your heart chakra. You go within and you heal. And it's putting somebody in um, their north node energy. Yeah, third eye. I can't make it up. Something about your crown chakra, something that you're seeing. It's like the more you go within, you're seeing. Yes, third eye and Libra energy. Okay, maybe before, um, maybe you was like a people pleaser. Uh, maybe you was like some, uh, you know, maybe you was one of them people that was just overly nice, you know? And you know, when you overly nice, overly compassionate it could put your heart chakra um it's in like a um an imbalance sun seeds you know it could put it in like an imbalance because it, it thank you spirit it could block your heart chakra there's no way in hell you should be overly nice there's no way you should be like overly giving more to a situation than what someone is giving to you because when you do that you leave room for opportunist people to come in you know so I just feel like somebody is just getting real grounded and someone else is just like, oh my goodness, like they really take it hard because they can't manipulate you. They can't, they can't, they can't play games with you, you know, because nobody could, nobody has power over you, Sun Seeds. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care about no dark man, no black man. I don't care about none of that. You hear me? Only how someone can, can, can have power over you unless you give it, okay? Unless you give it away. Nobody got power over nobody. You understand? You got to be strong in the mind, in the mind, in the mind. You hear me, son? It's in your mind. And when you're strong in the mind, nobody got power over you. Somebody knows that you're not, I'm getting like a knot of swords. It could be a knot of swords in reverse. Like you're not stressed, you're not worried, you're not in your head no more. You're not none of that. And somebody feels like, I will never forget, uh, you know, God bless his soul to my dad. My dad used to always say, you know, um, you know, this, 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 you know, certain men who thought they was clever. Um, some men, they would rather take their time to sleep with you. You know why? Because they want to get in a mind. My dad said, if a man can mind fuck you, then he got your whole body. Yo, your, your whole, your whole, your whole body don't even belong to you anymore. He got your mind. Everything, every, everything about you don't even exist. No, if a man can mind f you, 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 you don't even belong to you no more. You know. So if you ever, you know, run into a situation like that where you be like, damn, this man is nice. You know, he's taking his time. He ain't in the rush to, you know, whatever. He's trying. You know, some men. Oh, you gotta be careful with some men that's very clever out here. Okay. 
And, and I feel like this was someone who who thought they had you in a bag. But with the solitude, I feel like you went within and you started soul searching. You know, um, somebody started um, doing some shadow work. Somebody could have went through a dark night of soul. But something about the south node, you know, they, 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 they're they healing that part of them. And now they can fully go into the north node. Somebody could have seen you as a doormat, a people pleaser. Um, somebody could have looked at you like you was very beautiful. Um, you know, um, no, no disrespect, so beautiful to the point to where you could have been gullible, naive. No, 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 no. Your third eye chakra is on point, okay? Somebody is confused of, like, somebody is confused. They're like, I thought this person was for me. But when, I, when, I'm, when I'm saying that, it's like, the way how this person thought you was for them, it was, it's not in a good way. Don't don't listen. They don't think it was in a good way. Somebody thought you was for them with meaning to where, like, they could, like, what they say, like, Bob the Bear? Like, they could build you up to break you down. They could control you. They could dom dominate you. That's not how, no. Spirit don't want you to be like that. Oh, hell no. No. Somebody feels like, no, with this heart chakra, nobody going to love them the way you did. And I feel like with the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Fire, I feel like because you were so patient. Somebody is just like, yeah, look at this. Spiritual, spiritual gifts and Ace of Cups. Somebody wanted to control the chosen one. No. No. I feel like you realizing the only thing that held you back was yourself. Yes. Saturn and new love. Someone's karma is to see you with someone else. Ace of Earth, and it's going to be very abundant. And your guardian angel is here orchestrating all of that. Don't shock where somebody could be speaking out, speaking up for themselves, speaking the truth. Queen of Swords. Maybe um, if somebody somebody could have been in a south node to where they, they, they never spoke up. They never spoke up. Somebody didn't have a voice. They didn't have a voice back then. But now they got a voice now. And somebody is used to where you don't, you don't, you don't really thank you, spirit. Somebody um didn't stand up for themselves before. Somebody didn't stand up for themselves before, but now they do. What's the heart chakra? This person is not used to you standing up for yourself. Um, as much as that it it, it it affects this person because you're no longer in their energy, it it, it also turns this person on because Someone is used to you, like, not standing up for yourself. What's the hard chakra? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Harsh. Ah! Hard chakra is, look at you, sissies. Hard chakra is clear by with the crown and the healer. Someone is a whole psyche out here. Play with your man, but they can't play with you. And this ain't nothing that, this is something somebody was born with. Somebody healed, somebody did some shadow work. Somebody went through a dark night and stole. Okay? Healer and crown chakra. It's something that you see. Okay? This person could have definitely been blocking your crown chakra and your heart chakra. Okay? But whatever this spiritual connection that you have with the divine, I'm talking to someone who's very wise, who been through a lot. And, and you also someone who, who loves, who loves to keep the peace. You love to keep the peace, but with that Libra card I seen, you're big on justice. You're big on fairness. And I feel like you couldn't get your, you know, your, 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 your fair, you couldn't get justice until you do some type of shadow work, until you do some, go through a dark night of the soul. And now that as somebody moves into their north node, they can finally get justice. Whoever you are, not only have you healed yourself, but you are a healer. Mm, yes. I come through spirit. You about to make me cry. We ain't going to do that. It's a good old Sunday. Y'all yeah, know I'm a passionate reader. Been like that for three years on this YouTube. Okay? Very sensitive to the energies. I love it for you guys. Black magic and breaking generation curses. You are the first one in your family to break this curse. If you have women or men in your family that was used as doormats. Okay? People taking advantage of them. Them not being able to speak up, stand their ground, stand ten toes. You are the first one. Your ancestors are proud of you. 
whoever you are. Your ancestors are proud of you. Because when you go within with the healing, when you heal you, you heal your ancestors. You heal your bloodline. You heal your bloodline. Black badging and, and breaking generation curses. This could have been a curse that was on your family for a long time. Some of you guys could have been aware of it. And some of you guys couldn't have been aware. You know, probably wasn't aware of it. But you kept filling blockages. Didn't know why. Somebody had to step up. Somebody had to be the first. Somebody going to be the first millionaire in their family. I'm here for first, first, first. Your ancestors rooting for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, child. And the stage is just going like, woo, 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 woo. Let's, let's get some more. Never know who watch it. Woo. And that, that stage is going. Somebody, listen to me. You heal you, you heal your bloodline. Something about this Mercury retrograde, divine feminine, come through. You did it, divine feminine. You said and study giving attention to whoever this person is or what's holding me back. I'm going to do some work. And that was just, that was just not whoever this opportunist is that had secrets. Whoever this person is, you, 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 that was their worst nightmare. You are their worst nightmare, spirit is saying. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. Something about this Mercury retrograde, divine feminine. You coming out strong. You coming out strong. Somebody could be Aquarius or Leo. Somebody could have heavy a Leo and Aquarius placements. Confirmation. <laughs> and if you are, you we know in the tarot deck, the sun card and the star card is the best cards in tarot. Congratulations, Venus. Damn, you spiritually gifted, baby. You get it all now. You get it all now. You, you, I'm telling you, your Kashi Records is open to you now. It is. You some type of like a miracle worker. Something about your hands. Your psychic abilities. You a healer. You got that inner knowing. Now love, money, everything's attracted to you. Now it's like that you 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 did some things, baby. You did some things. You could be dealing with Aquarius or Leo. But I was just saying, you know, just seeing these cards, you know, the tarot deck, uh, the sun card and the, the star card, those are the best cards in tarot. Okay? Yeah, somebody went through a dark night of the soul. Mm hmm Pisces, divine union, and guardian angel. Somebody is getting prepared for a divine union. You could be a Pisces or be coming into a connection with a Pisces, Leo, Leo or Aquarius. Okay? But there's some type of abundance that's being... Oh, and throw chakra, throw chakra, crown chakra. Look, throw chakra with the ace of cups. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm telling you, whoever you are, you are this, whoever this opportunist is, you are their worst nightmare. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Yes, ace of fire. You got so many. Look at you. Yeah. Somebody did some shadow work. Cancer, moon. Moon and Cancer, um, you could um, be a, you could have a Cancer Moon, but it also gives me to see the Moon and the Cancer. That's divine feminine energy, straight up. Okay, three D Shadow Ace of Fire. Somebody went through a dark night of soul. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get some more. Look at the other bottom. Six of Wands, baby. Success, victory, rewards, accolades after being out. Look, five of pentacles. After feeling left out in the cold. Okay? But if you one thing I love about this five of pentacles on this on this deck. Look at you. The key is here. All you had to do was get up. Somebody could have felt like they was drowning. Didn't know how they was going to make it out of something, but spirit was like the key right here. Just put the key in this door right here, baby. You the only one that's holding yourself back. You can unlock. You can open that door anytime you want. Nobody. Nobody. 
can do anything unless you give your power away. I just heard your magic away. Somebody wanted your, your, your gifts. No. No. Somebody was trying to mess with the mind. Six of Pentacles to the hangman. Somebody could have been trying to pay to keep someone stuck in a Ten of Swords energy. Yeah, magician, Ten of Wands. Somebody could have been trying to pay to keep someone stuck so they could have them in a Ten of Swords, the magician and a Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, the magician, Ten of Swords, that's magic. But we see... We see black magic breaking generational curses. You broke a curse. Six of swords, the ace of cups, baby. You are this chosen one. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, sussy. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And now you about to get all your wishes. Yes, look at you, queen of wands. Look at that stick in your hand. You, you are the magic, baby. The magic is in within you. <laughs> I love that for you. I love that for you, sus. Yes, Queen of Cups. Somebody said, I surrender. I surrender to the divine. <laughs> Don't come for me. I'm coming down, sussies. I told y'all. They ain't my best in salad, but y'all can't stop me from sticking, baby. Okay? <laughs> Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more. Yes, judgment to the eight of cups. Somebody look, judgment to the eight of cups. Somebody made a final call. Yup. They said, hell no, I'm not gonna be stuck in my head. No, why? The will turn. The will turn. The will turn on someone. And that was the work. Whoever this opportunist, narcissist, or whoever this person was that was trying to hold you back. Okay. Um, that was the worst nightmare of you ever changing. Give me more of this energy, Holy Spirit. <laughs> the death card. Okay, you could be a Scorpio or dealing with a Scorpio, but the death and rebirth here. Somebody went through a dark night of soul. Yes. What's this card? Ten of Wands. I'm telling you. Somebody is going higher. Yeah. Six of Cups from their past. Somebody is somebody is realizing something. Somebody is realizing something. Somebody wanted to have someone like in a mental prison. Somebody also could have been fighting this. The death the the, the death card to the to the wall. Somebody could have also been trying to like fight this rebirth. And you know when you when you when you fight it, the harder it gets. Somebody could have been trying to fight this for a while. But it, it, it was necessary, Sunseeds. It was necessary, baby. What's a death and rebirth in the Ten of Wands? It's like somebody kept trying to fight something. They kept getting harder and harder until the moment to where they had to surrender. Yeah, they had to surrender. Ooh, child. Page of Wands in reverse. Two of Swords in reverse. And Seven of Cups in reverse. <laughs> I'm telling you, I mean, you are. You are this person's worst nightmare. Page of Wands in reverse is like bad news. Two of Swords in reverse, that is someone who's taken off the blindfold. Someone can see clearly. Seven of Cups in reverse, someone is not confused. They can see through the illusion. Whoever this, with this death and rebirth, Ten of Wands, somebody was trying to make it hard for you. Somebody knew that if you went through this change or you went through this dark night of soul or this death and rebirth, they knew that they, they, because we, they knew they would be eliminated. It's given like the sun card. They knew that they was going to be seen for who they, who they were. And somebody wanted to keep you in your south node. I'm telling you, I'm picking heavy up on south node, north node energy. Somebody did some type of work. Yes, I, I said it. I'm seeing the sign card before. I'm telling you, I did not even see this when I look down. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, you know, just channeling and spirit says say what it is. I'm just tapped in, baby. I'm just tapped in. Like <laughs> anyway, um, death and rebirth with the ten of wands. Somebody knew that if you, you if, if if something got eliminated, if you seen something, it would be a major backfire on someone. Someone was trying to make it hard. Somebody felt somebody um somebody felt like if they could if they could stay connected to you, they could keep you on your south node. Because you walk into your north node, it's a problem. It's divine unions, it's empires, it's ace of cups, it's ace of fire, 
It's abundance on abundance on abundance on abundance. And this person won't be able to take it. Somebody, you know, I'm gonna tell you something, Sussies. A lot of times people they know your gifts before you can even before you even tap all the way into your gifts. And they play on that. You know, of course they're not gonna come and tell you directly, like you know you're gifted and you're da 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 da. No. The whole plan is to keep you stuck. Cause once you awaken it, they ask the scratch. They out of here. <laughs> That's the opportunities with the secrets. That's it. <laughs> Give me a card on the death and rebirth, Holy Spirit. Death and rebirth, please and thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, two of pentacles. Somebody was trying to cause some type of imbalance so you wouldn't go through whatever this necessary change was for you, that which would be the ace of wands, so you could have a new passion in the um, beginning. But you see the four of pentacles? Somebody wanted you in the star card. Look at the star card. Look. Somebody didn't want you to heal. Somebody wanted to hold you back. But I feel like whoever you are, you realize you only need you. Somebody, somebody is taking control of their life. Someone is standing up for themselves. Somebody is standing up for themselves this time. Somebody realized, like, listen, ain't nobody coming to save me. I've been waiting some my, some my years. And I ain't ever seen my sage just keep going, keep going. Thank you. So obviously, this sage keep going ain't go out yet. Anyway, um, somebody realized somebody been waiting some odd years for somebody to come in and save them. Somebody and and and, and, and like, listen to me, so see, you could be a, a beautiful person, good hearted, mean people well. You know. Somebody is realizing nobody is going to save me. I got to save myself. I got to be my own muse. I got to be my own hero. I got to get the hell up out of this five of pentacles because somebody felt like they was drowning. The whole top spirit said the key was right there in the corner. All you got to do is take the key, put it in the lock, and you out of there like swimwear. You hear me, Sunsy? Somebody is like, hell no. So I see somebody like you, you realize you had to be your own hero. And with this four pentacles, I feel like whoever you are, you're holding on to your energy. You're holding back. This four pentacles, it also give me like um like a mojo bag. Look at look how this woman holding the bag, like a mojo bag. Like you got your protection, you got your crystals, you got you got your strap, you got <laughs> like you you Listen, you are protected, suited, and booted. Crown chakra covered up and everything. Somebody is like, heck no. Yeah. Um, the, the star card, the nine of swords. Somebody wanted to have you in anxiety and worry. High priestess to the world card. Your intuition got you up out of that. Your intuition got you up out of that. Yes, because you was divinely guided to move away. You was divinely guided to move away. Somebody did not. Somebody did not want to see you go. And whoever you are, I'm telling you, this, this person is talking to like their friends, their bro, their sisters, whoever. They like, it's more fish in the sea, but somebody knew who you were the whole time. They always knew who you were. So they trying to convince their friends, like, they probably not, you know, telling their friends all the exact information, but they telling their friends, like, I can't let this go. I won't, I won't, I won't. I, I won't be okay if I let this person go. And they know they won't be okay because the karma that's going to come down on their behind for what they did to you. And like I told you a little while ago, my father, he told me, if a man can mind F you, everything about you, you only, you, you might was signing over. Like, and I'm my dad's only child. You know, my dad was a cancer. And my dad was one of them people that, when I say, he kept it raw with me. He, you know, he would nurture me, you know, you know, very protective, all of that good stuff. But he also didn't sugarcoat things to me. And he would always say, you know, sometimes you, you know, you should have been a damn boy. Like, that. I'd be like, you don't, you don't told me, you don't kept it real with me all my damn life. Like, so it's like, you already know. But because I'm still a, 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 a feminine and I still have emotions, I... I, I I I knew what I knew from what he told me, 
But I still would, you know, you know, just like any other woman, you know. You know, we still thought we was in love. You know, we did what we wanted to do sometimes, you know. But somebody is going through a major heartbreak, Sunday. Okay? What's the Ten of Wands? Now that you're going. Ten of Wands. Yeah. Ten of Wands is playing out with the sun in reverse. Somebody is not happy. Somebody is not happy. What's the sun card in reverse? They're not happy because they can't burden you anymore. They can't make things difficult for you anymore. What's the sun card in reverse? Yeah. They kept the chariot. They can't make you out of there. Somebody, somebody is unhappy because they know that you won't be burdened anymore. The sun card in reverse, something got eliminated to you. Somebody, is, and, and this sucks because whoever this opportunist is with secrets, it's like since you're not around, somebody feels like they lost their Bob the Beard. I'm here a Bob the Beard. Somebody's name could be Bob, but I don't know, um, like, I don't know where else, it could be, you know, I know it's in, I don't know, it could be, I know in New York is, it, you know, where you take your kids, you can build the beer and, you know, close the ears, whatever. Somebody literally was doing work on somebody. Thank you, spirit. Y'all, hey, man, the justice card. Oh, sh somebody going to realize that somebody was playing them. Like, somebody was literally did something to them, like, uh, without them, uh, without them knowing. Like somebody was trying to make somebody's life hard and they'll come in and act like, you know, I mean you well, I mean you well. And, and, and you know, this love, I'm your true twin flame or I'm your real soulmate and, and I love you and we're supposed to be together. Death the worst part. No, somebody was taking advantage of someone. I'm telling you, they was. Yeah, page of cups. Now they want to come in and apologize. Five of wands after causing you some type of conflict. Three of pentacles to the four cup. This four cup, three of pentacles. This person knows that you're you 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 you're not interested in working with them. Hell no. Three of wands. You moving on. You moving away to common waters. Two of wands. Yes, you made a decision to go towards your ten of pentacles. Empire, divine union. You made a final judgment. Yes, the hermit to the eight of pentacles. Somebody went with that. And did the work on themselves. They they did the work that was necessary. Somebody realized that they was the only this person ain't had no power over you. You had to let this person go. Yeah, nine of pinnacles, nine of pinnacles to the ace of pinnacles. You did that, you did that by yourself. Yeah. Seven of swords. And somebody was trying to steal this from you. Yeah? Somebody took control of their life back. Somebody took what's the seven of cups in reverse? Somebody took control of their life. You broke a generational curse. Seven of Cups in reverse is clear foul with the King of Wands to the judgment. To the temperance. You made a final judgment. You could be a fire sign or dealing with a fire sign. But with the Nine of Cups to the Shrimp card, there's some type of big wish that's coming in for you. Knight of Swords, and it's coming in quick. Knight of Swords. There you go, Empress. It's coming in quick. It's love. It's money. It's everything that you could possibly ever think of. What you thought that you missed out on, what you thought that you never had before, what you kept trying so hard to fight against. And the moment you surrender, it worked in your favor. You should never have to fight for something that's already yours. Anything that steals your joy, anything that's so hard and difficult is not of, it's not of the divine. It's not for you. Hey, man, you realize that. And now you get injustice. Page of Pentacles. <laughs> Page of Pentacles, King of Swords to the Tower. Whoever this person is, whatever they wanted to take from you, Six of Swords, Ace of Cups. You was divinely guided to move away from a lover. Queen of Swords, that's the truth. Two of Cups, the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands. <laughs> if it ain't, listen, you about to be happy, happy. You hear me? Happy, happy. And it's something that you manifested with the magician. Knight of Pentacles. It been slow to come in because whoever you was, whoever this person was that was trying to like attach themselves and, and, and hold on to your energy, they wasn't for you. 
there's some type of regret here. Someone fell in love and, and, and you all they could think about. And this person feels like if it's not you, then it, 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 it's not a win for them. Yeah, the six of wands to the six of cups. I'm telling you, whoever this person is from your past, they feel like if, if it's not you, it's not a win for them because somebody already knew what you was destined for, eight of wands. They knew once you let go you and you and, and you and you get in balance. If you get in balance, I'm saying and I'm saying in balance. I'm saying if you get in balance, sun seeds, everything will hit for you. If you go with it and start fighting this dog night in the soul. But it's sounding like I'm saying in balance, but I'm saying in balance. Somebody wants to cause an imbalance and they want to mess with all your chakras, ten of swords, but that's over with. Congratulations, Queen of Cups. I feel like you threw your hands up. You threw your hands up. What's this card? Yes, the fool card. A leap of faith. You took a leap of faith. That's all you need to be. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Eight of Cups. You walked away. Four of Pentacles, and I feel like you're holding back your energy. You protected everything. High Priestess, your intuition is on point. Your crown chakra is on point. And I keep seeing with this bag, it's giving me like a mojo bag. You equipped and protected. Yeah, the world card, congratulations. If you, if you, <laughs> listen, ain't no more stress and worry on this, on this cycle, this path you're going on now. Somebody finally getting justice, but somebody else that seen you as their Ten of Cups, They're stressed out. Some card in reverse, they're not even happy. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person is blocked. Blocked, okay? I love you, Sunsteeds. I hope this reading resonates. I hope it helped you guys. I think this reading was dope. I think it was beautiful. Um, this is very different because somebody definitely, somebody, it's like somebody literally, they, they it's like the, 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 somebody solved their own case. <laughs> I love you guys so very much. You guys are so, so freaking protected. Okay. Congratulations. That's what I'm hearing. Congratulations. Congratulations, you deserve it, Sunsteeds. When I say you deserve it, I mean you freaking deserve it. You guys been through enough, and it's only the best to come, and I love you.